Well, you've probably been there, stomach viruses, nasty head colds, but how would you feel if you came down with a computer virus? No, you, not your computer. A British scientist is getting involved with a pretty weird science project. He has infected himself with a computer virus. That's right. He is showing how implantable bionic devices are also susceptible to computer viruses. So how does this work? With more computer chips being implanted in people for all kinds of reasons, could this become a problem in the future? Let's talk about it with Michio Kaku, theoretical physics professor and author of the book Physics of the Impossible. All right, so he did this to prove a point. He implanted one of these computer chips in himself, and it has a virus in it. That's right. At the University of Reading, he took an ID chip that we put in pets, for example, infected it with a virus, stuck it under his hand, and then as he passes his hand over an ID system, he can actually transfer the virus from his hand to another system. And that's a very important point, because in the future, we're going to have more chips in our body and clothing. So he's trying to show people that, uh, you know, the wave of the future is here now and, and there can be problems. That's right. Already thousands of Americans have pacemakers. They have cochlear implants to correct hearing problems. In the future, even aspirin pills could have chips in them with TV cameras. They already exist. You swallow them, they take pictures of your stomach from the inside. This gives new meaning for the expression, Intel Inside. So. For instance, I've got my staff ID. It's got a little radio chip in it. I swipe it to get into the building uh, here at Fox. That's what he's got, except in a little chip in his hand. He put a virus in it intentionally, and apparently now when he swipes into this computer system, some of the other professors at his university their cards get it infected or get uh, give him access to the same areas they're in? Uh, that's right. So he did it not as a publicity stunt. He did it to show that in the future, when chips cost maybe a penny a piece, they're going to be, for example, in our clothing, maybe even in our contact lens. Yeah. Uh, we'll have the Internet in our contact lens, and we blink, and there we are online. And these systems are susceptible to viruses. But pacemakers, things like that, you don't want somebody infecting your pacemaker with a computer virus. And that's right. So we're going to have to have passwords, uh, special user ID codes, even for pacemakers, cochlear implants, and even for our clothing in the future. Michio Kaku, thank you. Jane? Well, some of the breaking news is...